Hey guys, S2W here with our W Overview, your weekly update to the top headline sneaker releases for the next 7 days. Going into the second week of February 2021, finally some fire drops are happening this week. Feel free to hit up in the comment section and let me know if these upcoming drops are a must cop for you this coming week. Let's take a look at what's dropping between February the 7th to the 13th of 2021. On the 10th, the Air Jordan 1 High by Trophy Room is releasing for $170 US dollars at retail. This is probably currently the most hyped release of 2021, as it's a collab that's also using one of the most iconic colorway of the Jordan 1, the Chicago colorway. Finished with a white based leather upper and red leather overlays finished with glitter, this shoe looks like it will sparkle up close. The swoosh is done in a black tone as well as the wings logo on the collar and the collar around the sneaker. Because it's also a trophy room exclusive, hype is at an all time high because it's Marcus Jordan's own store and coupled with a historic colorway such as the Chicago, it'll pretty much be impossible to get. As I was making this video, it seems like they've announced that it's a raffle so go on ahead and check out their Instagram for more details when. On the same day the 10th, the Air Jordan 1 High 85 OG Neutral Grey is coming out for $220 US dollars at retail. This Jordan 1 is a special release because the cut is using the original model where it features the same high top cut when it initially debuted. Other than that, it's reusing one of the first colorway as well, called Neutral Grey, where the shoe is basically white and grey in colorway. The leather upper and overlays are in white, while the swoosh and the collar is in a greyish tone. Everything else is basically similar to any other Jordan 1 including the flat laces, durable midsole, and rubber outsole. Since this release is being labeled as OG everything, a lot of Jordan purists will definitely want a pair in their collection. On the 11th, we will see the Air Jordan 14 Low by Clot for $200 US at retail. This sneaker is like a direct sequel to the Air Jordan 13 Low that they've done a collaboration on, which was inspired by Chinese history, specifically the terracotta warrior statues and the armor that they're wearing. Material-wise, we will see a suede upper with different patterns and texture, including exposed stitch lines and circular detailing. We will see co-branded tongues and insoles with one of each branding on each side, whereas the heel will see a special Chinese decorative knot with a coin hanging down. Not an easily wearable shoe in my opinion, but definitely a nice collection piece to have on a nice shelf. I don't see these popular in North America, but could definitely see some hype over at China since Clot is pretty much a popular hype beast brand over there. Lastly, on the 13th, the Air Jordan 6 Carmine is making its way back as a retro for $200 US at retail. Michael Jordan himself has worn these during the 1991 to 1992 season, and it's one of the earlier colorways known for its eye catching color blocking. Keeping its OG look, we will see the regular designs such as the felt like material canvas upper and white leather overlays in white. We will also see the high sitting tongue with the top part done in plastic labeled with the Jordan branding while the body part of the tongue is covered with a plastic red textile with the Jumpman logo embroidered over it. We will continue to see the air heel window as well as some translucent sections that makes up the rubber outsole underneath the sneaker. What's important about this release is that it's the first retro to ever use the Nike Air heel embroidery, which was what it original looked like in 1991. So for any Jordan heads, these will be a must cop this coming week. Anyways, that concludes this week of W Overview. Like always, if this video has informed you about a new drop that's coming out soon, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments which headline sneaker are you looking forward to most to own or anything that I've missed. I'll see you guys in the next W Overview.